Thursday marks 10 years since one of the worst rail disasters in Canadian history. 47 people were killed in Lac Megantic and hundreds of lives were changed. This week we're looking back, sharing the stories of loss and healing and how the town has moved forward. We'll also look at what's changed and if enough has done has been done to prevent another disaster. In Lac Megantic, a decade later, there are still deep wounds. Kelly Gregg reports. It was a quiet, nice town nested in a mountain lake. Not too big, you know, it's not Montreal. It's really quiet, except for the train. It was really cozy, but 2013 changed at all. In the heart of Lac Megantic, the train still passes through four times a day. The same route it took 10 years ago. Gilles Fluet was leaving the Musique Café the morning of July 6, 2013, not knowing what was coming. On venait juste de passer les rails. Les autres étaient un petit peu en avant de moi. Là, j'ai senti qu'il y avait de quoi qui passait en arrière de moi. Je me suis viré comme ça. Puis il y avait un train qui arrivait de là, des locomotives noires, de la fumée à hauteur de, des locomotives, qui passait à 105 km en arrière de moi. J'étais à quatre pieds de la traque. Je savais instinctivement que ça ne virait pas la courbe qu'il y avait là. Fait que j'ai crié à mes amis, Cour courons, ça va, ça va sauter. A freight train stopped on top of a slope in the neighboring town started rolling and slammed into Lac Megantic. On board, 7.7 million liters of crude oil. Yard is gone. Flames RJ are uh, 200 feet high. It's incredible. You can't believe it here. From the river right to the station. What the fuck happened? I don't know. I don't know. Firefighter André Laflamme woke up to the sound. I just went to the, uh, the window. I said, no, the town is burning. So I got to go. But those who were there could only watch. A red wall. A fire. I, I've seen like a couple of people running and we never uh, see them again. Most of the 47 who died were in the Musée Café, a popular bar where Fluet had left just moments before the crash. J'attendais du monde crier dans la rue l'autre bord. Du monde qui crie dans une atmosphère de même, c'est pas des cris ordinaires. C'est des cris qu'on n'oublie pas. Firefighters from 125 municipalities responded to the call over three weeks, including from the United States. These photos were taken by one of them, who's sharing the images for the first time. But there was little crews could actually do to battle the intense heat and flames. I knew I, don't, I didn't have the equipment. I knew I didn't have the uh, foam to extinguish that type of fire. Everybody was looking at each other. What can we do? Initially, it was thought hundreds could have been killed. Les nouvelles qui nous arrivaient, euh, je vous dirais, de minute en minute, d'heure en heure, étaient toujours de plus en plus mauvaises durant la nuit. And as the morning came, more help arrived. Dr. Melissa Genereux is the head of the Eastern Townships Health Board. I've been appointed as the public health director on July 2nd, 2013. So that's four days before all of this happened. All the chemicals, uh, uh, the, the, the toxic fumes. Uh, so is it dangerous? Should we, should we evacuate people? Can we still drink the water? Can we swim in the, the lake? So we had all of these questions to answer. Sir? There were also concerns about the environment, with much of the oil ending up in the lake, which feeds the Chaudière River. The oil was a light crude uh, that uh, floated mostly on top of the water and uh, sank later, later on and contaminated the bottom of the river. The explosion was visible from space, and in one night, the small town became the center of a worldwide news story. I was out and I realized that there were media from everywhere, 
partout, euh, je vous dirais même euh, plus que du Québec. Alors, à ce moment-là, j'ai eu comme un moment de, un moment de, de crainte euh, face à l'ampleur euh, de, de cette tragédie. In the spring, Khaled Roy Laroche was honored at the National Assembly for how she handled the disaster. She says it's the work of emergency crews that deserves the credit for mitigating a crash that could have been even worse. We saved some, some people, but they're 47 and we couldn't do nothing. It was too fast. Ten years later, this memorial stands in the place where the victims died, just meters away from where the train still passes through. Greg, CTV News, Lac Megantic.